what up it's the blu-ray collector 306 here back with another video for you guys and it sure has been a while since my last <clears throat> blu-ray update blu-ray collection update uh, in this video, I'm going to show uh, some of my recent pickups from, I guess, the last couple months. Uh, it's been There's been a shitload more stuff that I've added in my collection that I just... I, but from here on out, I guess I'm going to try to start making them once a week again. Maybe a little more in between. But in this video, I guess we'll start off with uh, some of my games and Blu-rays that I've picked up. And then... I also have some Funko Pops I'll show you. I found this one today at uh, Value Village. That's Finding Nemo and it's on Blu-ray and DVD. It's in that big crappy DVD case though. But it is complete with all the discs. And I didn't try that code yet so I'm going to try that. This was only $1.99 so maybe I could get a little bit of the money back from what I bought today. Let's hope to that. Next up, I found this one at another uh, thrift store. It was uh, $4. Bruce Lee's Quest of the Dragon. I do not believe I've played this before. And anything Bruce Lee's probably got to be good. Like it was at a Valley Village too for $5.99. Also got this one at the same place. Uh, Brothers in Arms. The Road to Hill 30. Uh, never tried this one it was only two bucks so and uh, was complete and the discs were in really good shape so I bought them uh, this one this one was three bucks though but I never see it anywhere and uh, I don't know if this this is a signature collection it has a little signature up there but this is in mint shape who doesn't like small soldiers? Uh, this one was a dope movie. Coco. If you haven't watched this one, I would definitely recommend this one. Recently picked this one up not too long ago. Father Figures. It's pretty funny. Could have been better, I guess, in my opinion. I don't know. But next up, we got a Jackie Chan movie. The Foreigner. This one was a pretty good movie for... Jackie Chan, just a little stunt action. He's uh yeah, he's actually pretty good in this one. Check it out. We got the house. Will Farrell. This one's funny. They make like a casino in their house to uh fund their daughter's college fund. Next up, we got it. And uh, uh it was alright. It wasn't too bad. I still enjoy the older one a lot more than this one. I would probably rewatch the older one a lot more than rewatching this one. But I can't wait for part two. Uh, I do have uh, the Funk, the Its. All the Its that they released for the Funko Pops for these ones so far. Next up, Justice League. I like it. I like that part on there where the Flash is trying to run fast and Superman, Superman can see him. It's pretty. It's pretty dope. Lady in the Tramp. This came out not too long ago too. But I think this was out before. I didn't have it in my collection. Next up, I hope they really do um do more with uh, <clears throat> with this universe. I think they were talking about making the dark universe or something this is the new mummy with tom cruise um it would be very interesting what they did with this line if they really did the other other ones next up night of the living dead i bought this one on amazon i think it was five bucks or something but it's the black and white version who doesn't like zombie movies and especially by George A. Romero. Next up Pitch Perfect 3 watched uh, I watched them all so I had to get it. Family really likes that one. Next up is an old classic that I just had to grab because because it gives you because this, this I don't know there's 
This scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. I think I bought this on Amazon too. Might have been like 20 bucks or something like that. Next up, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Go and get it if you want to know it. Thor Ragnarok. I really like this movie. This is a really good movie. And I also found this one too at uh, Valley Village for 99. I don't even. I have no um, Super Nintendo games. Uh, it looked like it was in all right condition. The label on the top was pretty. Like it's in pretty good shape. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna start uh, collecting uh, all kinds of games this year since uh, grad sale season is coming up right away. Yeah, picked this one up not too long ago. I pre-ordered the whole set. The Hercules and Pegasus. This thing looks dope. But I pre-ordered the whole line. The whole line didn't come in yet. And I also got Meg. Uh, she looks... These ones look dope. I know there's a chase of Hercules and a chase of Hades. And a glow in the dark exclusive from Hot Topic. The normal Hades. Uh, he does nothing. He's just normal. Just want to pick this one up today. The Mad Max Rick. All that back there. That's my Rick and Morty Funko Pops. They made they made so many different Ricks, but when you watch it, there is a lot of different Ricks. EB Games is starting to get <clears throat> the Target exclusives in Canada bright. They're in these little paw protector thingies. The the cheaper version ones from EB Games. Daryl Ward. There is also a Chase version of this where he's holding a um, a wand. Watch this show. It's on Netflix. Uh, you'd know what that means when he's holding a wand. Tika. Uh, right there, see, she's holding a wand. Watch it, and you will know why. There's uh, four in the set. I got Jacoby. He looks cool. He's carrying a shotgun. I do believe they're doing a season two. That'd be dope. Tommy. Yeah. I also picked up Richard. But yeah, I need that one where he's wearing that little tight jacket. I have a lot of the a lot of the Funkos. Dr. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. They're in a pop protector, that's why they kinda look fucked. John Hammond. He looks cool. And just picked up these ones recently. I the ones in the pop protectors, I've had them for a little bit. Dr. Ian Malcolm. But I think they spelt his name wrong. I think his name is spelt wrong. That's what I've been seeing on Instagram. And also pe picked up Dennis Nerdy. What he was trying to sell there. What was it again? Let me know in the comments. Oh, that is all that I have to show you for this Funko Pop haul. Make sure to hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Fuck, we've been getting a lot of subscribers joining lately, and we hit over 3,000 subscribers. Yeah, that is a lot. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah.